What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about some of the uh, stealth changes that came with update 1.11 here in Black Ops Cold War. Before I get into the, all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Uh, games have had stealth changes in them for a long, long time. Uh, used, people used to call these ghost patches back in the day. Uh, luckily now we have a lot of really good YouTubers out there in the world, uh, people that data mine information. So this stuff really doesn't just kind of slip into the game and go unnoticed, not really unnoticed, you know, players noticed it back in the day, but we really never could prove it. Uh, now with all the great YouTubers, like I said, out there, all the great data miners out there that data mine some of this information, we really can find out some of these things. It may take a couple of days after, you know, updates come out, but these things are kind of always, you know, found in game eventually. And with this uh, latest update, update 1.11, there were some big changes to weapons that Treyarch did not mention in the patch notes. The first two changes, or the first two weapons that had changes, of course, were the M16 and the AUG. Uh, they have knocked down the bullet velocity on some of the barrels for both of these weapons. So if you look at the rapid fire attachment, which used to give you 23% uh, bullet velocity increase on the M16, that has now been reduced down to zero. And then the titanium barrel for the M16 uh, used to give you an 85% bullet velocity boost. That has also now been knocked down to zero. The same thing happened to the AUG. The rapid fire and the titanium barrel both have been reduced to zero as well. I know a lot of people that have maybe just started playing the game around Christmas time or, you know, have just recently picked up the game, uh, maybe stepped away from the, you know, kind of a start and came back. Uh, may notice some difference with some of these weapons. Yes, they have been nerfed, but bullet velocity is big in this game. As we all know, when the game first came out, it felt like every time you would shoot a gun before you start unlocking barrels, that it would take a second or two for the bullet to register. It, you know, some even close but medium and long ranges, it was really bad. Uh, then, of course, everybody started trying out different barrels, different things, and it kind of came to light that bullet velocity was a big thing in game. Uh, bullet velocity, as soon as you pull the trigger, the higher bullet, the higher the bullet velocity you have the quicker it seems to register on target, especially at range. Uh, so that is some big changes, in my opinion, for the M610 and AUG. Even though they have been nerfed in the past, they were still very good. I think this was kind of something to kind of knock them down a little bit more, maybe try to not not to really, you know, allow, not really not make people use them, but maybe deter them from using them as much as, you know, they have in the past. Now, some things that were actually buffed with this update uh, was the FFAR. The FFAR actually got a buff to its uh, bullet velocity on four different barrels. The Ranger barrel got a plus 26 bullet velocity increase, which now gives it a total of 53%. The Ranger got a 32% bullet velocity increase, which gives it 89% total bullet velocity. The Takedown barrel got a 10% uh, bullet velocity increase, which gives it 25% total. And the Task Force got a 16% bullet velocity increase, which now moves that up to 54% total. Uh, the FFAR was a great gun when it first came out. It has been nerfed and been buffed back a few times now. Uh, I know the recoil is still pretty crazy for, you know, a lot of people don't like that, but that extra bullet velocity on this weapon, uh, you may see a little bit more uh, use of the FFAR in lobbies now, maybe even again in the pro league because that bullet velocity will help that weapon out tremendously in my opinion. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.